Well, for those that love winter weather or the idea of a big winter snow, this season's been a little frustrating, hasn't it? It's the middle of January, and we just had two, almost three straight days of rainfall. So it brings up a really common question this time of the year. How much snow would all this rain be? Have you asked that question? Maybe you've even tried to answer it. Well, let's get into the science of this one a little bit. First Alert Doppler shows the rainfall totals from the past few days, where we had that heavy rain, especially Friday and Saturday. Widespread one to two inches of rain, and many spots when you add in yesterday went over that two inch mark. So are you saying, all right, so two inches of rain, I've heard this before, two inches of rain would equal 20 inches of snow because the common conversion is 10 inches of snow for one inch of rain water. That is the common conversion. However, we cannot go reverse. You can't say because we had one inch of rain, we would have had 10 inches of snow. The reason why, we've got a couple of these and why we're calling this one a first alert verify and we can say false for this one. If people ask, you can convert winter rain to snow. Well, first of all, warmer air, well, it has the capability of holding more moisture. And that inflates the conversion from rain to snow. It basically blows it out of proportion. Let me give you a good example of this. The past few days, we've had two inches of rain. Have you ever heard of a 20-inch snow in Toledo? It's because it hasn't happened. What if we were to get three inches of rain? 30 inches of snow? Yeah, no way that has ever happened. And also, we can get higher rainfall totals because of what we call convective elements. Thunderstorms, that leads to heavier rainfall rates. And again, that can lead to inflation when you try to convert rain to snow. So how does this work then? Why does it go one way and not the other? Well, very simply put, if it snows, you go out, you scoop up some of that snow and you melt it, you can figure out how much water is inside of that. You can't take rain outside right now and freeze it and get snow. It doesn't work like that, does it? Would be pretty fun though. And if you think about it another way with that rain that's out there and the snow that's out there, you know how we get different types of snow. The really mushy, heavy, good packing snow? Well, many times that conversion is more like four inches of snow to one inch of rain. That's because it's wetter. But the really dry, powdery snow that blows really effectively? Well, many times that conversion can be 20 to 25 inches of snow to one inch of rain. Just some science. Even though it's fun to think about just how much rain could turn into snow, it doesn't always work just that way. Hope you have a great day.